Rod, merci d'être avec nous à Saint-Jean-de-Luz pour être venu présenter Freedom. Est-ce que c'est important pour vous de, de voyager avec votre film Vous l'avez présenté à Berlin, au Festival de Melbourne, et maintenant vous faites la première française à Saint-Jean-de-Luz. Est-ce que c'est important pour vous de voyager avec votre film dans les festivals uh, Absolument. Um, nous sommes très privilégiés anywhere we get us, but here is quite special because it's our French premiere and um, we come out in cinemas in France next month and um, yeah, it's just a really beautiful town. So, um, you know, we're very excited to, to share the film here and incredibly humbled to be a part of the really amazing program. So, and yeah, for us to travel with this film because It's uh, about a subject that not many people uh, know about, um, particularly in the West. And so for us, you know, we want to uh, bring as much exposure to this subject as, as we can because it's a, it's a very little known um, issue going on in, in Southeast Asia. Alors, <laughs> est-ce que vous pouvez résumer votre film? Sure. Uh, it's about a 14-year-old um, Cambodian boy who... Uh, He's looking for independence and, and more out of life than, than working on his family farm. And so he decides to migrate to Thailand and um, he gets tricked and trafficked onto a Thai fishing trawler. And he's destined to spend his life at sea um, unless he, he does something about it. C'est un, un, un sacré résumé, mais est-ce que c'était un résumé facile à vendre à des producteurs I, I think the amazing thing with with the film is that, uh, particularly when we were early on in development, is as soon as like I um, sent the first uh, draft of the script to Causeway Films, they were um, blown away by it because again they didn't know much about it. And I think with with all our partners, everybody that's come on board has been so supportive, and uh, in in wanting to make this film. We didn't have, um, you know, a huge amount of money to make it, but enough, enough to, to, to make the film. And but the support from our partners has been astounding. Il y a un, un dicton dans le cinéma qui dit qu'en en fait, il ne faut jamais travailler avec des enfants ou des animaux. Et Steven Spielberg a dit très clairement que c'était une folie de vouloir tourner sur un bateau en mer depuis qu'il a tourné les dents de la mer. Donc, est-ce que vous êtes fou? Uh, yes, oui. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, eh, all the challenges that, that uh, were before us when making this film, I, I don't care, I don't think about too much because the people, the boys and the men that were making the film about the challenges they faced in their lives make, uh, make a film look like an easy thing to do. <laughs> so I never... I never complained, but yes, we, there were challenges. Mm. And, you know, working with uh, non-actors um, is sometimes uh, by uh, people look like that as a challenge, but I think it's what you can get from non-actors is, is incredibly special and, um, and raw. And uh, so for me, this, this, I never saw this as a challenge, but uh, uh, incentive or bonus for for using non like working with non actors in this in this film in this particular film alors moi en voyant le film j'ai pensé à la mise en scène de Stanley Kubrick à cette façon de mélanger l'image et le son comme vous le faites quels sont vos quels sont vos réalisateurs préférés uh well yeah kubrick is uh, a, a favorite of course um i very fond of francois truffaut and jean luc godard and Um, Ingmar Bergman, a lot of cinema from the 50s and 60s I, I constantly go back to because um, I think uh, back in that time uh, film um, was mm, a very strong form of expression and so uh, and also has a, a human quality uh, back then so for me those, that's my uh, favorite period of cinema. Hello. Uh, this, is, uh, the, the, this is the first time this year that we will have a, um, a prize for uh, best original score. Do you have, uh, first can you 
talk about the, your mu the music in your film and then can you tell us if you have any uh, favorite uh, film music? Uh, yeah, I think for me when I think about the music, I think about uh, the music and the sound design working together. Um, so for me, it just comes back to uh, the emotional uh, growth in the film and the point of view of the film about a uh, adolescent, um, very impressionable uh, young boy growing out into a man. And so um, for me, just um, ensuring that, you know, we his emotional arc comes through the sound and comes through the music mm -hmm. because the, the music is the... Um, a motive core of, mm. of the film. So I think it's very special that you have a, a, an award for composition here because it's not recognized enough in, in my mind. Thank you very much, Rod. Uh, and thanks again for being in, uh, in Saint-Jean to present your, fa your fabulous film that will be released in France on? Uh, November, but I'm not sure the exact the date. The 27th. There you go, 27th <laughs> of November. And uh, thank you for having me and thank you for um, enabling us to share our film here. It's, it's a very special uh, city and um, we feel very humbled to be here, so thank you. Thank you so much.